Hello everyone, Pedro here with Cinemild. Excited to be here with you today with a classic product that we decided to do our take of, which is a Mitchell threaded collar and castle nut. And basically this is something that a lot of people make, uh, a lot of people have made for decades. Uh, basically the Mitchell um, standard is something that, was, that has been around in the industry for probably almost 100 years. Uh, it's a really secure, heavy duty way of attaching uh, any sort of uh, big cinema equipment on a movie set. You'll see it everywhere in a number of different products. Other people do make a threaded collar and castle nut, but we decided that uh, there was a couple little things that we wanted to add that would interface with some of our products and would also give you just a lot more uh, options to mount this to different things, uh, maybe not even gimbal related, that will allow you to just, you know, get more use out of your uh, Mitchell threaded collar. You know, it's a pretty uh, simple, a straightforward device. You know, we got an aluminum center thread, um, and this is just a standard thread, just like all the other Mitchell nuts out there, uh, Mitchell collars and nuts. Uh, we're using stainless steel for our uh, castle nut. Uh, as opposed to some of the other companies out there, it'll never rust because of that. Um, and it's nice and heavy and heavy duty. And so, and then we're using uh, quarter 20 screws and standoffs for the castle nut area. And it, that interfaces with our Mitchell wrench. And we have another video on the Mitchell wrench, but it's really straightforward. It lines up with our, our castle nut and allows you to really put a good amount of torque on there and get this really nice and secure. When you purchase the Mitchell Threaded Collar and Castle Nut, you will give, be given the option of getting the Cinemilled wrench. So as you see here, it's got a number of different options. You can go to that outside star pattern, uh, which is actually intended for a JL Fisher Castle Nut. You'll notice it lines up and there's even a little bit of play there with the uh, cast jail fisher uh, castle nut at chapman the guys at chapman also have a very similar pin system as the one we use um, so yeah so you can use the jail fisher uh, position right there or you can use any number of the the holes right there so notice that we do make it a little bit oversized so it's not so hard to get on there um, the other option is you can actually use the handle as well. These right here also line up. So anyways, that is our Mitchell wrench. But basically what we did differently than everybody else is around the outside of the uh, Mitchell collar here, we have 3 8 16 and a quarter 20 threads, which are one inch on center. Um, but they're two inches apart. So they're basically, they match up to any one inch on center grip cheese plate on any set around the world. So this means you can mount and thread this collar and mount it to any sort of grip cheese plate or anything that's drilled to the one inch on center standard. Um, but what we also realized is sometimes you want to thread into the, uh, the threaded collar and sometimes you want to put a bolt through it and then thread into uh, maybe another cheese plate or something else. And so this is why you'll find a series of holes uh, drilled along the, the, the edge here. And what we got is we got a pair of 3816 threaded and a pair of 3816 through hole, as well as a pair of quarter 20 threaded and a quarter 20 through hole. So here you go. We got a 3816 and a quarter 20 bolt. And you will notice we have a number of threaded and through holes on the sort of outside ring here of our collar. And so if we start with our quarter 20, you will see we have a through hole and that's one inch space. So this gives you two inches center to center, which as we spoke, it lines up with any sort of grip cheese plate. So we got both a through hole and then here we have a threaded. So either you're going through this and threading into whatever's underneath of it, or you are going 
through the other material and attaching this to it. So here we got our 3 8 16 uh, bolt, long bolt obviously, because it has to be long to go through this. And as just like with the quarter 20, we have a through hole and we have a pair of threaded. So this is really what sets our piece apart from other, other ones out there is that we have these extra mounting uh, options for you. Um, the other thing uh, that we just recently came up with an idea for is this center thread. And so I believe that's a one inch thread and we built in a baby pin and put in the thread so you can actually thread this into the center and put this Mitchell thread on the end and have a baby pin sticking out of it. So it could be a number of reasons why you may want to do that. So it's a cool little option that we have now. So that basically gives you any uh, number of variations where you can use uh, screws and attach this to different things. The least of which we have here are Ronin 2 universal mount. And all you got to do is take a couple of quarter 20 socket heads our, our, our Ronin Universal Mount is built for this and you see it sticks out the bottom there and it just lines up right there and now you have your, um, once you tighten it with the wrench, now you can mount your Ronin 2 on any sort of Mitchell base. So a crane, a dolly, whatever. Um, and so this is a nice benefit our, of our Ronin 2 Universal Mount is, is that it interfaces with our Mitchell Castle Nut and th threaded collar. All right guys, so we have our Cinemill universal mount for the Ronin 2. And you just take uh, any uh, quarter 20 um, socket head bolt and uh, just drop it in there. You'll see it, it sticks out and then just line it up with the two quarter 20 threaded holes on our Mitchell collar and castle nut. Take your DJI Allen tool and tighten these guys up. Make sure they're ni nice and tight and that they don't, the heads don't stick out because then your Ronin will not slide in. And there you have it. Now you have your Ronin 2 universal mount mounted to our Mitchell uh, castle nut. So you just grab the Ronin 2, slide the mount in, make sure it's nice and tight. Drop it in, take the castle nut, tighten by hand, and there you go. Then you take the Cinemilled Mitchell wrench, and you can either use the big cutouts or the pins. The big cutouts, if uh, you can go anywhere, it makes it really easy. See, there you go. And you can make it really tight with the wrench. and. Uh, there you have it. Now you got your Ronin on a Mitchell mount on a, on a dolly or it could be a crane or anything like that. And of course you can mount overslung like we have it now or you can mount underslung. So one of the things you can do with this is that we drilled our Cinemilled gimbal dock to accept and line up with the Mitchell threaded collar and castle nut. So what this lets you do is put the Cinemilled gimbal dock in a vertical position attached to the Mitchell on the end of a crane. And because of the locks on the end of the, of the gimbal dock, you can walk, do your shot, land into the gimbal dock. A grip can close the, the, the locks on the gimbal dock. It'll fly away and continue the shot. Or it could come down and you can grab it and keep, keep the shot going. And so, you know, you may not ever use it. You may have a more elegant solution to do that. But, you know, you already have the gimbal dock. And being able to have the option to take that baby pin knuckle off and replace it with the cinnamilled castle nut um, will allow you to then mount that to the crane and gives you just one more option to do the shot. So, you know, the general idea is we're always trying to make one product interact with the other and allow you to get more use out of everything that Cinemill, you know, can do for you. That's pretty much it. You know, it's a straightforward, you know, it's a something that has been around forever. We just put our little twist on it and adding a little bit more mounting holes, but I hope you like it. I know it's a vital part of my kit. I don't go anywhere without one or two of these. 
And uh, don't forget to grab a Mitchell wrench at the same time you're buying one of these because honestly, the whole point of using a Mitchell nut is being able to put a lot of torque on it and get it really tight. You know, for the guys that are using the Ronin 2 out there on vehicles, um, you know, there's a lot of torque on that Ronin 2 motor. If you do not tighten this down really tight, that, that mount can start to get a little loose and that's the last thing you want. I hope you enjoy it. I think it's the best Mitchell nut, castle nut that anybody makes. <laughs> of course, the wrench also. Pretty cool, you know, it does work on Jail Fisher and Chapman and a bunch of other Mitchell nuts, even the DJI nut it'll work on. That's it guys, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You can find all of our products on our website at cinemilt.com and we have a number of resellers also, they're all around the world. You can see a list of them on our website if you're overseas and you need a local uh, source. But uh, thanks a lot for all the support. We got a lot of cool stuff coming out soon, so stay tuned, and I'll see you on set.